Um, we're going to work our way up then. So the next button I'm seeing there is this C with an arrow, and it says Commons. Um, what the Canvas Commons is, I'm just going to briefly touch on it. The first time you click on it, it's going to ask you um, if you accept the terms. It's safe to do that. It's, it's our thing. Uh, what it is is a learning object repository where um, people who are using Canvas, not students, students can't get here, um, but faculty, admin, designers um, are sharing and have shared to date. There's you know, 38,300 and some things that have been shared in the Canvas Commons. Um, people share everything from full courses down to individual files. Uh, when they share it, they decide which level of copyright they want to put on it. <clears throat> there are some very good things in here. And also there's some things I don't know why people share them um, at all. <laughs> so. Um, if you were teaching a particular course, so I could click on courses up there and then I'm going to look for, I know that the, the California, yep. Yeah. So for example, one of the things that's really good, right? The California Community College's online system has put every single one of their courses in the Canvas Commons, like all of them are there. Um, something like that, I would feel like that might be a pretty quality thing. Um, one time, oh here, see there's, they have everything in there. Um, something like, I was training one time and there was a recipe for Cheddar Bay biscuits hanging out on the front page. Like why was that shared? I don't know. I clicked on it and thought maybe that person is like teaching culinary arts. No, I think if someone was just playing around with how do I share things in the commons. So. What I will say about the Commons is um, I don't think Canvas was um, expecting it to be as popular as it, it turned out to be. <laughs> I don't know why someone <laughs> created the Arsenal logo with that thing that looks about like it's about Pythagoras. Um, but um, it has been super popular because it's a nice way that you can share items um, either publicly, which means to everyone else who's using Canvas, or there is a private side. So if I turn off public resources, you'll see that you can share it just to your institution. Um, so it is a, an easy way that instructors could share pieces of their courses, modules, quizzes, things like that, um, because the interface for importing into a course is really nice. Um, it'll give you all of the courses you're the teacher of, and then you just have to select the item, and then it'll import it into your course. Here's my big warning, though. <clears throat> and when you're, if you decide, if you are doing training and you're talking to people about the commons, don't ever bring it into a live course. Um, the reason why, the reason why you would want to bring it into a sandbox or a not production course is I can't see this thing right here. So I can tell this is a quiz because of the icon and I see the name and like what it is, but I can't see it until I import it into my course. And it could be awesome and it also could be not great. Now, something like a quiz is really easy for me to delete, but if I imported a full course into a live course, what it would do is it would merge those two together, and I still can delete it, but it's going to take me some work. So I always suggest to have a place, if you want to play around with the commons and you want to import, that you have a place that you just do that with, and then if you decide it's something good, then you can you know, copy it into one of your, your real courses that you're going to use.